Hello again, folks. I am back with Cyril White's postage stamp album. And I am going to show you my plans for it. Before I do, I wanted to say that Cyril, and I know this was Cyril's because of her inscription in the front of the book, obviously cared a great deal about this album. There are a lot of wonderful stamps in it. There have also been a lot of wonderful stamps taken out of it uh, before I purchased it. The other thing is to notice that it is falling apart. So because it's been cherry picked, because pages have already been taken out of it by somebody else, actually cut out of it, I have decided to try to preserve what Cyril loved most, and that is the stamps themselves. I don't take this decision lightly. This was a very well cared for and loved album, uh, and so I gave it some thought, and I think that the best thing I can do for it is to make sure that these stamps are preserved in a, a good way. Yeah, so you can see here, somebody has already come along and cut one of the Great Britain sections out of it. So, I am going to walk you through how I care for, uh, how I will care for these stamps. And as a collector of Great Britain, this is where I'll start. So since I've decided to try to take as many of the stamps out of this album as I can, I can go ahead and cut out a page entirely. So that's what I will do. Okay, now I will take this, make sure that there's nothing on the back, and I will do this to make the page a little bit easier to handle. That's a nice stamp right there, by the way. That might actually be better than the one I have in my collection, we'll see. And now, I've got a little casserole dish uh, filled. I use warm water. And then all you do is you soak the stamp. Might be a little bit too much. Two batches. I can see these are already coming off pretty easily. I don't think I'm gonna have any problems over them. And there we go. Make sure they're all submerged. And now we will let time do its trick. And then just come in here and take a look. And if it's had enough time, the stamps will literally just fall off the page. And then you can go ahead and help some of them. What I do at this point is I just take the stamps off, worry about them later, get the paper out. And 
these are coming up very nicely. And there you have it. All right, now that we have the stamps removed from the paper, the next part is removing any hinge remnants or little bits of the envelope that remain on the back of the stamps. And this is a part that you're going to want to be careful with because once again, wet stamps are fragile stamps. So take your time and individually remove any of the hinge remnants you see. Then, you know, I think what I'll do is a magic of technology and, and there you go. So, quick pro tip, if you pour water with hinge remnants in it down the sink, you can clog it. <laughs> <laughs> and your uh, spouse might not like your stamp collecting hobby as much anymore. So there you go. This is a uh, important step. Uh, it is the drying part of the process. And as you can see, if you don't do this quickly and properly, your stamps can start to curl. So uh, I have placed them on a paper towel and there are better... Uh, methods of doing it. There are different papers and different towels that you can use. I don't have any of those at the moment, so I'm using a paper towel. This is going to be a quick dry, and uh, what I will do is I will take another sheet of uh, another paper towel, put it on top, uh, weight it down with uh, something, an album or whatever, and, uh, and let that dry briefly, not too long. And the reason I don't do it too long is that there can be uh, gum or other sticky uh, substances left on the stamps, and you don't want them uh, sticking to the paper towel. So that's the next step. All right. It's only been about five minutes. This was a real quick flash dry. And let's see how we did. And there you go. They are nice and dry and ready for the next step in my process, it looks like. And once again, in a wonder of technology, voila! Over the years, I have experimented with an awful lot of ways of doing this, and this is my favorite. There are certainly others. But what I'll do is I'll take the stamps from the paper towel and I'll put them on an album, a vinyl, an LP, uh, one that has the plastic wrapping on it. And then I will take another album with the plastic wrapping and put it on top. And then I will weight that down. And the purpose of this is to ensure that the stamps fully dry flat. Uh, this way, by using albums that have the plastic wrap on it, these aren't going to stick to the plastic and they will slowly dry flat. So I'm going to put another one on top like this. And then I'm going to weight it down.
Now, uh, what I will do is I will uh, put them into their next uh, spot. I think I'll probably do overnight in stock cards with these just to make sure everything is fine. And then in the morning, I'll do something like... And there you go. Cyril White's Penny Reds filled out the page in my album for Penny Reds. And at the same time, while I was drying them off and doing a little bit more research, I discovered that this is a very special stamp. So, on this channel, I'll talk about catalog value at some point of what that means. Uh, but for now, uh, suffice it to say that uh, this does not mean this stamp is worth $375. It also has cut perfs, which means that the perforations on the bottom were cut off, unfortunately. And so in this condition, um, oh, you know, $10 to $15, maybe somewhere in there. But regardless, it's a very nice stamp. And um, I will try to find a home for it in this album, too. So there you go. That is how uh, to not <laughs> annoy your uh, significant other while you're soaking stamps and the ultimate result. Thanks for watching. Take care.